we got Dot Mob Battle Rap Arena taking over. Oh, we got K Shine on that line. Ship him up. Oh, shit. All right, what's good, man? <laughs> what's good, Sean? Yo, we're talking about Big T versus uh, Big Cannon, son. You've been in the ring with Big T. Who do you yeah. have winning that battle? I ain't going to lie. I fuck with T. T got that fire, but I, I see some shit from Cannon that, that's like Cannon impressed the shit out of me. Like, Cannon been calling me out for a long time, but I ain't even know, like, son was ill. I thought he was like a, a mediocre nigga trying to get, but Cannon got that shit, son. I ain't going to lie, so... Like, this shit, that shit can go either way, but I'm leaning more, like, towards Cannon. I ain't going to lie. He got some shit, man. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Cannon, Cannon's but on that, the property. But I, I ain't going to lie. When, when Big T talked that shit, he talked that shit, though. I ain't even going to hold you up. So that shit is, like, a tough, like, that shit is hard to choose. Yeah. Yeah, so last time we, like, last time we had you on the show, this was before your battle with uh, Big T even, um, uh, I know you're not one for excuses. Um, I know I know Rex said some shit, but you you've been in the ring with Big T. I mean, do you feel like that was your best effort? Nah, I feel like I, I feel like with that battle I was way off, but like but my whole thing is there's no excuses, like know what I mean the nigga he won, like like if you if you that, that's your that's a nigga job. Like if you sick don't go to work, like you know what I'm saying? Pretty much like metaphorically speaking, like my whole thing is I wouldn't know my a hundred percent being going through shit, whatever, and all that, and I ain't get a nigga a hundred percent of what I like, what I had, like, you know what I mean? Because when I go back and think of the rounds that I had, them sisters were taught and I would have clearly won, but I just was all. But he came, he came fighting, he came doing what he do, you know what I mean? So I can't take nothing from that nigga though. True, true. Do you think it was because then, uh, you took too many battles too close together, or like, or was it something nah, I didn't have battles in the same week before. Like, so that shit is no excuse. The whole, the whole issue is I wasn't, I, I didn't come prepared. I came playing around. I came slipping. Like, it's no, it's no. What's shaking, my boy? It's no, it's no, uh, it's no excuse though. Like, I came unprepared, and that's because I was slacking. I was taking that shit lightly. Like, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I but, you know, so after that, after that, we saw you on the uh, URL mm-hmm. stage again, um, on some man the street with Arsenal, and yeah. I, like, I thought you killed it with uh, the midget. I don't, I don't want to refer refer to him as a prop, but like, nah, that wasn't a prop. That was just like, it, like, if the nigga would have said he don't like a nigga. Sticking his foot in front of him, I'd have stuck my foot in front of him. Like you see what I'm saying? That I, 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 that wasn't a prop for me. I just did whatever he said he don't like. Like I wanted to get at him the worst way that would make him upset. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to consider him a prop, but he was an angle that you used, and the DNA angle, like with the with the Professor Shine shit, that was crazy. And right. I think, you know. Uh, we you brought out on stage again with the the Arsenal shit. That worked great, great in the room, but it right. didn't get the feedback on camera that you you were hoping for. Um, do you feel like maybe you're like relying too much on those angles? Say that again. Do I feel like what? You're relying too much on those angles after the DNA shit? Nah, not at all. Like that that that's not even my thing. Like as a when I started that on, I never do props. I didn't do nothing. I just did that because that was like DNA shit was just random. Like, I don't know. I just felt like nobody did that to DNA and nobody did that to us. Like, my last two shits, I didn't use no props. Like, I, I never used props. Like, I used battles. So I wasn't really going back on that. Like, because bar for bar, I feel like I got off on ours too. Mm-hmm. So it was like, that, that shit, like, the prop shit is not what I'm really leaning towards. Like, I mean, I don't really give two fucks about a pop up beat a nigga hands down just three and no L bars like mm-hmm. I and then you know me and Psycho were talking about this too. Like your DNA performance might be the best performance of two thousand thirteen. You know again? I said me and Psycho were talking about this on another show. The DNA performance might be the best performance of two thousand thirteen. Um, do you think people are putting too much weight on? Cause see, like I remember when that battle happened, a lot of people talking about, oh, he's the new face of Dot Mob, fuck Rex, fuck Mook, it's K Shine now, right? So do you feel like it was too much weight on your shoulders 
when, not when at all, when because you, like, because like, this shit is like, this is what people do, man. Like, that's why, like, Rex move. They ain't take that shit personal because they've been doing this shit forever, so they know, like, this is what niggas do. They have battled the next day and did some, and killed the nigga the next day, which they would have done, but they have battled the next day. They would have been like, oh shit, that super C would change it. They would have forgot all about that. Like, you know what I mean? I just felt like my shit I did was so different, and and it's kind of it's not weight, but it's kind of like it's kind of like a win and lose situation. Like because with that, they look everybody looking for something better than that DNA shit. Somebody looking for me to do some quick. It don't get no like. It, as far as bars, the bars can get better, but I'm not using no props. So, so they just looking like, oh, what is he gonna do now when it's not that? Just look for me to rhyme, like. Yeah. So it's like, if I don't do some crazy shit, if I don't bring Jesus himself to a battle or some shit, it's like, oh, DNA shit was the best. Mm. Do you feel like you put too much? Do you feel like you put like too much pressure on yourself? Like you feel like like now people would, like, you know, like no matter what you do. Like, it's going to be like, you know, like kind of like a downgrade from DNA battle because it was so good. And, and honestly, that's exactly what it is. But some people, to some people, I mean, not to all, but like to some people, they see it and be like, all right, that was, all right, that was cool, that was hot, whatever. But other people respect the bars. Like, even though I went bar for bar with the prop, but like, regardless whether I used that board or not, that round was just so, so, it just was so crazy that, People mm-hmm. just look at the, but they look at the board though. Like, I could have beat them three and no without without the board, like just with the same round. Mhm. But the board is just like just finesse the situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, so do you do you feel like Lux went through that same situation where he had to repeat magic, and that was almost like the fans put too much on his shoulders with against Hilo? Uh. Yeah, that's kind of like the same thing, yeah, because, like, they looked for Lux to destroy uh, uh, this nigga, how he, how he did uh, Calico. They looked for him to destroy how he did Calico. But, like, they, it's not realized, like, Calico ain't really say nothing that was really, like, good. So it's like, and with Lux doing everything he doing in that battle, it's like, it looked like he just, like, really destroyed him. I'm pretty sure that wasn't Calico best work. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But being that that he did that, so now that he didn't do that to Hollow, people were looking at it like, oh, Lux falling off, and the Hollow might be the best, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're looking at him like he's mortal now. now. They're looking, for, they looking for Lux to just, just dismantle a nigga, like, just really, like, any. they looked at him like anybody that's standing in front of him, is they not hearing from him no more. It's the worst thing in their career. Like, and then being <laughs> that that didn't happen to Hollow, it's, it's like niggas have good matches. Like, people don't accept nigga having a good match. If, if, if one nigga's the best of everybody, what, what's the point of having battles? No, I know we have Rex on the show, like Rex, Rex at his words with Hollow. And I know both both you and Rex both said, like, Hollow's horrible. Like, I mean, do you feel that way? Like, do you feel like you... Nah, I, I, at the beginning, in the beginning, I, I swear to God, I thought Hollow wasn't shit. I'm like, yo, I don't like this nigga. Like, I don't get how people say he's so hot, but then I started, shit, like, watching shit, and then I, how he handled himself against Lux. That's what really made me, like, respect this shit. Like, he held himself down. He held his ground. Like, like before, I, I ain't going to lie. I used to tell him, like, yo, bro, you whack. Like, tweeting him, like, you know what I mean? But now, now, like, I see the nigga, he held himself down. I mean, he was saying some dope shit. Like, I just didn't like the, like, all of the, the cartoon bars, like, funny shit, like, unrealistic shit, like, when niggas say lines, like, I choke you with umbilical cords and shit, like, like, you not really gonna do that, so I don't really like them type of shit, like, mm-hmm. like, where the fuck is you getting an umbilical cord from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know, I know how tweeted out that, um, he was like, yo, tell me the, um, the best first round y'all ever heard, and I replied, you know, k against Sue Surf, and, right. like, I really feel that way, I mean, do you feel like that's your best round ever, or? Nah, I don't. I feel like I just addressed the issue. Like, that was different from me. That's probably what really made them, really make people say that. I mean, that was a strong round. Like, that was one of my best rounds. But, like, I stuck straight to one point, and it's really hard when you got, like, four minutes satisfied, you know? And not, and then I had to, like, hike with that round. So it's like, I, it's, it's, like, a nigga can't even keep a conversation for one thing too long. Like, niggas have short attention spans. Like, so to do that, and keep addressing the same issue and bringing it to wild angles. That's what made the round so good. Like, but I don't think that was my best round. Like, 
No. I would probably say like I put more time. Like, that shit was like easy. I said I would say I put more time into the third for DNA minus the board. Like, like I yeah. really studied. Like I really had to really know what the fuck I was talking about with that. Like with this three shit, I I brought up about a nigga telling anybody could have did around like that. Yeah. All right. So like, you, you have to battle one dot mob nigga. Who would it be? I to say what? You have to battle one dot mob nigga. Who would it be? I battled myself before I battled my nigga. <laughs> so, I battled myself before I battled any one of my niggas. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, I got some. I got this tape coming out too, man. I hope y'all watching, follow me on the gram and shit. This transition shit, man. Dropping video a week for y'all too, man. Oh, that's what's up. Yo, Psycho, any, yo, Psycho, any questions for, uh, for um, Kajan? Um, so what you got next up on your plate? Who you, who you, um, who you looking to step in the ring with? I might uh, take one more, some... and, and then I might take one more and take, like, a like a long break from this battle thing. I got situations on the table, but the next nigga is supposed to be Verb. I'm waiting for this money, this, 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 the contract and shit to get right, and then Verb is the next nigga for, for a long time. So you know I'm going to do some wild shit. Hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's great. Shout out to Royce the five nine too. Royce the five nine. He's supposed to be taking a battle, cutting the checks and shit too. So let's get Verb. It's, 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 it's a done deal for Verb though. You know now I I, I saw a move tweet that Move versus Lux the rematch going down July fourteenth, July fourteenth, July fifteenth, right? One of July fifteenth in New York City. Um, Eminem presents. Is is M hosting this? Do you have any information or? Or not? Um, I don't. It might come out for it, but the last time it was just like the slaughterhouse in there, like Joe Buttons, Royce, you know, Joel. It was like they was just in there, like M wasn't there. But this is like a big battle, and it's a lot of money being like put in this battle, so he might step out. You know what I mean? I got you. Um, yo, so when I when I met you when I met you, it was in like the quiet room. I know we had a meeting before that. I was twisted as fuck. Yeah. Um. We uh in the quiet room with uh, the wreck situation. I mean, I know you were in there like it was. Everybody made noise, right? Like, including yourself, but including including their side also. Right. It's like, do you like the quiet room like that, or do you think that it should be done in the separate rooms on the television screen? Nah, like honestly, I feel like I respect the I respect the quiet room. Like I respect how that shit goes, and I feel like. I was out of line for even talking. Every, we all was out of line. I mean, if something is, is designed a certain way, and, like, who is anybody else, you know what I mean, to, 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 to do something different, you know what I mean? I, was, I, I like how that shit is set up. Me, personally, I would rather a stage to where, like, a, 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 a whole a lump sum of people, but the quiet room shit is cool to me. Like, I don't got, like, you know what I mean? I just felt like it's hard for somebody to be quiet when somebody's saying some ill shit. Like, you can't sit... That's like, that's like sitting a kid. But, I, you know, I think that happened to all of us. I think everybody in there was acting the same way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying do you think they should have a separate setting for it when we all react that way, you know? I mean, if it's going to be the quiet room, then, yeah, I feel like there shouldn't have been nobody in there, like, at the end of the day. Like, people was going to say she was going to ooh, people was going to ah, people was going to make a sound. You can't mute a whole room, like. Hello? Yeah, I, yeah. Now I know you took the math battle after the whole situation and stuff. Was that a hard decision to make? Huh? Say that, say that again. Now somebody, what you say? I hear you. I said I know you took the math situation of the battle after the whole situation happened, stage forty-eight and whatnot. Was that a hard decision to make, or was it? Nah, I wanted that. I wanted that. Like when they told me, like, yo, you got math. I was like, let's go. Like. Right after he punched that nigga, he probably punched that nigga three days, three days before that. But I was like, hell yeah, like let's do it. Like, and plus we was already booked in, so. But I really wanted that. I really wanted to show, like nigga, I take anybody. Like, I'm not worried about like that shit is, ain't about nothing. Like people get what they ask for. You know what I mean? Like, math, me and math is like on, on, on like we we cool. Like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, not to say if something would have ticked off, it wouldn't it wouldn't have popped. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time. Like, niggas get what they ask for, like, so, 
as far as him and said, Sirius Jones, that shit didn't affect me none. Like, I was still going to get my money. I ain't give a fuck about none of that shit. All right, so uh, uh, K-Sign again on the URL stage. When is that happening? Uh, I, I can't, honestly, I can't tell you. Like, if they picked up the verb shit, then it may be Gnome or Summer Madness. But if, if somebody else pick it up, then, then that's where it's going to be at. Oh, you already have an opponent in mind, though. Yeah, I'm just waiting for somebody to pick up the ticket, like me versus Verb. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, so that's what's up. So, Verb, Verb that's the only opponent you have in your mind? I mean... I just want to knock him, knock him out the box real quick, and then I'm going to chill for a minute and focus on the situation I got at hand. That's what's up. I mean, Rex was talking about the same thing. I mean, do you think it's a bad thing for battle rappers to say that they're going to retire at one point, though? Because, like, you yeah, know, that's, what I'm that's why I, I never say I'm going to retire because I never know. If somebody say I got $200,000 with a record, and I got a record deal already, and they say I got two, I'm going to get that, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'll never say I retire. So I do think that's, like, a bad idea for a nigga to say that because you don't never know what happens at hand. Like, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to chill for a second, but... If something comes about that makes sense, then of course I'm going for it. Yeah, you ready to take a couple callers with us? Yeah, let's do it. Yo, okay, uh, yo, um, Psycho, you got a couple callers? Yeah, uh, let's see, let's go 414, you there? 414? Let's go on Jason. 414, not talking. 443, you there? Four four three. Yo, 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 what's good, yo? Yo, what's good? Yo, what's good, yo? Yo, what's good, yo? Yo, what's up with the time change, yo? Y'all change the times again and shit? Yo, it, honestly, it ain't me, but like that should be killing me too. Like I'll be like, yo, nigga, I say, and a contract shit is two minutes, and nigga prepare for two minutes. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, sir. Hey, yo, Sad, I was talking to, my bad, yo, I was talking to, um, Psycho and them, like, they, they, they had the show on, like, at 8 o'clock and shit, you know what I'm saying? Say that again? They had the show on at 10 o'clock. Oh, now, I was talking to Psycho and, uh, shit. Jesse and shit, like, they, had, oh. they, they, they usually had a show on at 8 o'clock, now they got it on at 10 o'clock and shit, I was just wondering what was up, yo, my bad, yo. <laughs> yo, Psycho. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, yeah we, we, What's up with the time changes, yo? Y'all change and shit? Jeff, you want to answer that? Uh, yeah, we're, we're that. going back and forth, man. We we might we might end up back to ten, twelve for now, but I mean, I, just tune into our Twitters at Jesse Regan One, at Hip Hop Psycho, at Street Star Norbs. Um, we're going back and forth. Norbs wanted Norbs wanted um, Norbs is on the show. He's calling in at eleven. So oh, wow. ten to twelve tonight. So Norbs oh, will be yeah, on it. Oh, yeah, I mean, it ain't no big deal. Yeah, man. But, yo, hey, yo, Sean. Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, yo, when you pulled out the midi, yo, why yeah. why you had a motherfucking uh, chain wrapped around you, yo? Nah, because I, I, was, I, wanted him to pull him up cause I wanted him to be like, what the fuck is he pulling up? Like, cause when I, I ended it with, like, since you said, since you hate midges, like, all right, hold up. I want. I thought he probably think I was gonna pull out a board. He ain't know. He ain't think I was gonna pull out an actual midget. That's why I put the midget on the boat, like and pulled it like that. So when he came out, it made it look like it made it so crazy. Like if if, if you was in there, it was crazy. Like because nobody knew what the fuck was on the rope. Like they didn't even see the midget the whole day. Like on the like while yeah. was waiting on anything. Like I had him in a cut the whole time. So they like, what the fuck is he gonna do? <laughs> yeah, that shit was well, hilarious, yo. Hey, yo, do you got any, um, because this is a battle, like, I think that would be good on known for, you know what I mean, it's like, it's a battle that's been, like, I mean, this should have happened, like, a long fucking time ago, like, you and X Factor, but do you got still any, do you still got any yo, interest I, in I, battle I, I, with I, I, X Factor? Yo, that's another nigga, too, like, I, I want to kick X ass, too, I wanted to do Verb for, the, for, for like, for, for the last one, for, like, for the, for the fight for a minute, for a couple of months, but if X Factor come out, I'm going to kick X Factor ass. <laughs> Yeah. If X Factor yeah, come out, he trying to play some game. I'm a, I'm a fucking kill him like bad. Like, <laughs> hey, yo, uh, you would rather take uh, Verb, uh, uh, the next Factor, or what you, what, what you think? Like, I would rather. Nah, I would, yeah, nah, I, yeah, I would, so, honestly, I would rather Verb though. I think Verb like lyrically better than X Factor, but 
It's just a personal shit with X Factor. Like before I battle, yeah, yeah, yeah. I battle Big Will, I was supposed to battle X Factor for that one round. Yeah. And the nigga yeah, I remember out, that. like, I don't know if he wasn't ready. He kept saying he got shit to do. He ain't finished his round. Mad crazy shit. And he backed out, like, at the very last second and almost fucked up me getting some money because the silly nigga ain't want to take it. Yeah. So it was like, they yeah, sent me my half up, and then I'm supposed to, like, I'm waiting for the battle to come. I'm waiting to get out there to get my second half, and he's saying no. So now what, I'm in debt because the silly nigga ain't want to do it, like. Yeah, I still, I still want to see that motherfucker. I, I mean, I hope, like, I, I really miss, like, niggas like x Factor, Tech 9, Mav, a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to see yeah. X-Pac the best. Like, that's, I, I mean, even though he, he lost crazily bad to motherfucking goods, but I, I mean, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I still think he, he a good battle, you know what I'm saying? And I think that would be the perfect matchup for him to come back and shit. But, um... Do you feel like you lost any battles? Like you know what I'm saying? Like any, any as far as URL, you know what I'm saying? URL battle. Uh, I I I I feel like I lost the big T shit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's clearly, but uh, and that's that's probably that's probably the only shit I can really say. Like, and me and Calico fought. I ain't gonna lie, but I fought for bar, got off on him. But he okay, was like, I was about I to say, I like. Yeah, cause a lot of niggas be saying you won that one, but I think you know I I think Calico got you, man. Like that motherfucker first round and that third round. I mean, yeah. I respect your opinion. I mean, like, but I feel like like Bob for Bob got with him. He had the crowd though. He had the crowd going crazy. I don't know that nigga had yeah. the crowd. Just, he had the crowd warm that night. So Are you over, yo, yo, Sean. Honestly though, that's not respectable that you even said you like. You say yourself you lost the big team battle. You know. A lot of rappers wouldn't say that. Nah, it's, it's like, real is real. Like, I shit ain't gonna kill me, like, know what I mean? Come and be a stand-up, mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yo, hey, hey, yo, Jesse and Psycho, yo, did y'all see, did, you, did y'all um, get any recaps or know anything about the um, Pittsburgh event? The Pittsburgh event? You know Which one is that? Oh, the, the uh, uh, Real uh, Deal versus yeah. Rosenberg shit. Y'all yeah. oh, nah. know what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it happened already? Um, yeah, that shit happened already. Real Deal versus Rosenberg, Rowan versus Danger Zone, and Newborn versus Lada. They tell you the truth, I have not heard one recap on it, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was, I no, was no, I'm, I, I, like, I'm not playing the event. I'm just saying. I I, that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's crazy. I don't All right, know, man. honestly. Yeah. All right, man. Y'all have a good night, though. I appreciate that. Again. All right, that's what's up. If I would have had some guests, I would have said real deal. Beat Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, I got to ask you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go 917. You did? 917? Let's see. Let's go uh, 206. You did? Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's good? What's up? What's up? Hey, so, uh, okay, Sean, you was talking about um, how you think uh, Big Ken is nice. So, uh, he he been calling you out. Would you battle him? Hello? Yo, Sean, you there? You do, okay, Sean? I don't think we lost. Yo, Sean. Hello? Yeah, did we lose him? Oh, yeah. Yo, Sean, you there? I think we lost him, Jeff. Yeah. Why don't you try to get him back on or something? Um, what's going on, son? How are you okay. doing? Jesse's trying to get him back on now. Okay, I'm here. Uh, um, if, if you guys get him back on, just ask him about, um, you know what I'm saying, like, if he would battle Big Cannon or, uh, or JC, because both of them niggas been calling him out for a minute. And Jesse calls him live on the air. Is he there? Jesse? Okay, I have no clue what Jesse's doing. Jesse's tripping right now. Um... Hey, yo, my bad. I'm trying to find Sean back on. Give me one second. Um, 
Yeah. So you wanted me to ask Kayshawn what? Um, would he battle um, Big Cannon or JC? Because both the niggas been calling him out for a minute. Big Cannon and JC? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to. All right. I'll definitely make sure to ask him that. I don't know what Jesse All right. All right. Thanks for, thanks for calling. Um, Jesse. Jesse just keeps calling him. Okay, Jesse? Yeah, hello? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead to another call because you're bugging right now. 803, you there? Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's good? Ain't nothing, man. I was wondering, you know, I had something on my mind. I was going to see if I could get it out on here. That's cool with y'all? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Now, I know y'all um, heard about the back and forth with, you know, the whole Chris Unbiased and Angry Fan thing and everything else, right? Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't know too much about what's going on. I tried to stay out of it, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You want to fill everybody in? I don't know what the hell's going on, to be honest with you. No, I don't got time to fill everybody in about, you know, Mr. Anthony McQueen Hargett and Mr. Thomas as well, but what I will tell you is he's they basically say that uh, Chris Bias is the reason why they're doing a radio show, and I'm going to keep it real. They need to show some respect to Better Look, uh, Better Rack Original a little more. Oh, really? What happened? They got, I mean, I'm just saying, they got the Angry Fan Radio Show got the same amount of people, three people. They mm -hmm. copy in the format, and they don't pay homage at the end of the day. And then, you know, people will talk about, oh, they did that show because they want to. No, they did it because they saw y'all doing it. They using Blog Talk Radio. They doing all the same shit. The show is straight, but the, the show is straight. But at the end of the day, people just need to pay homage. Stop saying it's an original idea when it's not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's definitely nothing original about it. <laughs> I'm not yeah. going. I'm going to talk, I never heard this show. I'm not going to talk smack about this show. I don't know nothing about it. All I, all I argue is it's definitely not original, though. Nothing original about yeah. it. That's that much yeah. I can say. It's not original, and they don't pay homage. And what Chris was saying was, oh, you know, I'm the reason why they started the show in the first place. And in reality, y'all are the reason that they started the show, because where did the idea come from? Well, 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 Chris said that it. for a reason. Chris was saying because he got hit up by somebody asking to start the show, and Chris turned them down. But um, the reason why Chris never did a show was out of respect to us. I mean, we're, we're actually going to have Chris on, on the show Monday to, to recap the Monday event. Um, yeah. Like, and, yeah, and like I said, I mean, it's nothing serious, like, but, um, yeah, but what, he was, what he was pretty much saying in the blog, he wasn't saying that he's the reason why they have a show not because of Battle Rap Arena. It's because he was originally asked to do the show, and he shut it down. Now, what he was saying was that it was an original idea from somebody else when that idea had to come from somewhere else. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? At the, end of the mm -hmm. day, at the end of the day, I don't feel like they're paying the homage that they're supposed to, and they're copying exactly what y'all, you know what I mean? My thing is be original. You know, they, they, you know people say things about the whole league thing, you know, leagues aren't original. You know, they use the same things, they do the same things, you know, use the same battlers. Well, geez, you mm -hmm. interview in the same league. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's contradictory to me, man. So at the end of the day, I mean, I've been down with Battle Rap Arena before it was Battle Rap Arena when Jesse was on with the other dude. All right. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I said, my loyalty is the Battle Rap Arena. Now, here and there, I do listen to the show because it's cool, but I mean, it is what it is. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, I appreciate it, man, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, well, like I said, you know. Well, you have I reached know, the... I know you listen to the stars and everything. Y'all need to do donations, because I donate to this thing. This yeah. Y'all some money, because at the end of the day, y'all working just like everybody else. Working hard. Yeah, we we might have to look into that, man. I appreciate that, though, yo. I appreciate. Hey, um, y'all be yeah, man. Hit, hit us up on Twitter, yo. Um, at Jesse Rica One at Hip Up Cycle, 
what, what we can talk more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Mr. McQueen, too. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but he did. I'll holler at y'all. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we got, we got Norris coming on soon. Um, I don't know what the fuck happened to Kayshawn, but I mean, yeah, what, what do you feel like? You need to stop calling that, you need to stop calling that number, too, because you're killing me. Um, <laughs> but what, what was you about to say? Yeah, my, my phone is bugging now. I'm not bad about that. Um, no, what did you feel about the occasion K- interview, like, what he had to say? I mean, you know, he, he, he owned pretty much. He, was, he wasn't he was making any excuses. I like that. I like the fact that he wasn't making any excuses and he was owning his shit. You know, he was, like, pretty much, you know, the whole Big T thing, you know, that's on me. You know, I ain't got no excuses, nothing like that. You know, I, I'm not, you know, he ain't got no lawn out, you know, elaborate excuse on what happened and everything, he pretty much just owned it. It was like, you know, I, I was just slipping. I was slipping. I wasn't prepared. So, you know, like, and, and I, 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 me, I appreciate that because, you know, so many times you hear all these crazy excuses other than just what actually happened was, which was you just wasn't prepared. You, you was, you was half-assing. And you, you got, you know what I mean, you got caught, you got caught out there half-assing it um, with a motherfucker who wasn't playing. And, I mean, you know, that that happens more than motherfuckers like to admit it. And motherfuckers like to come out with excuses, and he didn't. So he owned all of it, so I appreciate that. What caught me by surprise is the fact that he even admitted the big T loss. Like, I mean, mad niggas wouldn't even admit that loss. Like, you know, so shout out to, um, to well, Sean I mean, for admitting something. As far as admitting to the loss, I'm not too surprised about that. You know, he would he would have kind of he would have kind of came across as looking corny if he had tried to come on here trying to explain how he thought he won that battle. He would have, well, you know, how many battle rappers? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. How many battle rappers? People have done it. People have done it, and they have got ripped apart for doing it too. They have gotten ripped apart for doing it. Like, can you believe? Blah blah blah. I know people still commenting under that calico video that we did that time. And he said he thought he won the luck battle. People was murdering Calico when he said that shit. Like, but you know what you told too? Uh, you know what you told too? Like, I I really got. I remember after I faced Adi Boom, I was like, damn, I got killed. And they were telling me like, never say that. All the battle rappers are like, never say that. You know what I'm saying? Say why you won and point out the reason. I mean, you ain't got to say you got killed, but you ain't got to get up there. And, and and say you 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 won when you actually lost either, you know like some some cases I understand some people actually have arguments on it in this and third, but then there's certain cases where it's just you you know you lost that battle deep down inside. Whether you can you can you can sit up here and, and talk my head off for for I don't care how many hours. You can do how many blogs I don't care. Well, like, Matt, Matt denied the calico loss for how long? Um, I don't know for a while. I guess I don't uh, like a lot. A, a year lot and of change. Deny, a lot of MCs be denying them, them them losses that you know are L's. Like they like everybody knows that that's an L, and they still trying to convince people that they actually won the battle. So it's like and it, it like those be the ones that just be looking crazy to me. Like a close if it was a close battle. And like you know, and you know, it's kind of like if you if you won the loss, you know, maybe maybe more people thought the other person won, but you still, but you but you still, you know, like maybe it was only like sixty forty the other way, and you trying to you know talk to other people, you know, try to talk like ten percent off the sixty towards your way to believing that you actually won the battle. I can understand that, you know what I'm saying? But like not 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 them clear them clear L's, them clear L's. People just gotta own those. Yeah, gotta own them. He owned it. Yeah, but here, here, here's the problem with that, too, though. Because now you have fans saying that you actually won. You have your diehard fans saying that you won it, and you're saying you lost it. So you're making it harder for your diehard fans to even argue. Yeah, but, well, some of them, die, them the diehard fans are delusional. They need to hear that. Some of the diehard fans need to hear that type of shit because those are the ones that's delusional. Those are the ones that that it just ain't no arguing with this motherfucker. Like, it, those are motherfuckers where it didn't matter what the fuck that whoever you was talking about, you know, um, insert um, MC right here, it didn't matter what the fuck he did. Like, he, he won that bitch. I don't care if he went up there, choked all three rounds, only hit two punch lines, 
throughout the whole battle and was from from the whole time, he still won. He won before the battle even started. So them motherfuckers, you can't talk to them. So like, but they need to hear that. Those type of fans, those are the ones they need to hear that from the MCs. They need to hear the MCs owning certain shit so they can stop it. I see you, man. I don't know. I, th- I think right, I need to battle know. in that quiet room. Crazy. Again. What happened? I said you crazy, son. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine K-Shine in that quiet room? Get that nigga. <laughs> Mad quiet. Yeah. Like, I think, I think Dot Mob wouldn't work in the quiet room, and I think that's why it got changed up that day, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you know, it's, it's a lot of atmosphere. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it was kind of. It, was, it, it wasn't a lot of people when he battled DNA. Um, T, when T Rex battled DNA in that one round battle, it was just like it was less than a hundred people there. You know, it was, on, it was like a handful. Of yeah, people but like there. fifty of them were Dot Mob though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, Dot Mob stay rolling deep. They don't just. You know what I mean? They don't just come with a few motherfuckers. They come in with a truckload of motherfuckers. A couple of trucks. That's real. Let's see, uh let's see what the fans talking about. Let's go, uh three four seven, you there? Yo. Yo, what's good? Yo. Yo. Chum, what's up, man? Yo, this this forty, right? Forty on chest, yes sir. Yo, what's good, man? It's Saga, man. Oh, D Saga, he's battling Sunday against Nautic the Boss at URL Battle Rap Arena event. Um, All right. 277 Hillside Avenue, Williston Park, New York. He's from Long Island. What up, Saga? You bringing your five? Nah, man, we, we, we definitely going to do it in Queenstown. I'm from Queens, boy. Uh, yeah, man, we we going to do a real major that day, man. I need everybody to come out that day, man. They got, they got me up against this dude named Nonic the Boss. I'm sure he was at the last event, whatever. But it don't even matter what he's about to do because, you know, I'm about, to, I'm about to bring something different to this battle rap scene, man. What's good, man? You got any opinion on the K-Shine shit or... The crown battle well, coming um, up on Saturday. You know what? Like I'm, I'm gonna agree with you in the case, man. Um, you know what? When he, when he said he admitted that loss to, you know, Big T, and that's kind of, that's really commendable of him. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these, a lot of these dudes can't really admit a loss to him. Um, you know, he did his thing over the years, but I, I would like to see him in that, that ring with Big Cannon. You know what I mean? Or maybe a, a JC or something like that. I think that would be a really dope matchup for him. Really test him Yo, out. You, you know what I mean? Do you think Big Cannon is going to be Big T? Because I'll put 50 you know, on it with you right now. You know, I, I, I honestly, I feel like Big T going to have that one remarkable round. You know what I mean? But I, I, I haven't seen him go a full three rounds just like, you know, consistent. You know what I mean? He gonna, it's either the first or the third. He's going to give you that wow factor in that one round. But I think I'm going to go with Big Cannon on this one, 2-1. You going with hmm. Big Cannon 2-1? Yeah, then we'll go big hand to one. But you know, you know, you want, it's you crazy want to put fifty on that it? thing, man. You never know. You want to place a, you want to place a bet. <laughs> whatever you want to do, bro. Whatever you want to do. But I got, I got big hand to one. I think you know, got, even in his past feet. battles with Messiah Boy and everything like that, he's been a lot more consistent. He seems more hungrier. You know, Big T definitely got the wordplay, but you know, it's it's the passion behind Big Hand and that you know makes him more believable. You know what I mean? I mean, no disrespect, no disrespect to Sire Boy, but Big T is not no Sire Boy. No, I understand that. It don't really matter who your opponent is. It's about how you perform. You know what I mean? How you bring it. You could be battling. You could be battling somebody like a friggin' like anybody. You know what I mean? A no, a no tier dude. You gotta, you gotta come with your A game. And I think regardless, whoever he would have battled that night, he would have still gave his A game. Yeah. You know? I feel you. I don't know, man. I say, I don't know. Yo, Psycho, who did you have for that battle? You have Big Cannon? Uh, I had Big Cannon edging it. I had Big Cannon edging it. I, 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 in the room, in the room.
room. I think I think a lot of people are going to say Big Cannon might have edged it in the room, but um, yeah. on foot, I think Big T is going to have a better shot on footage. On footage, I think a lot of people are going to say Big T won just off name alone, but no, I, think, I, think, I think Big T has great playback value. You know what I mean? Like he definitely got yeah, those bars you want to catch back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think Cannon is going to edge it. Yo, for for niggas coming to see you, this um. Oh, by the way, I got I got to mention this again, just because I mentioned it the first time. All the negative feedbacks on the YouTube videos and stuff. This is not a URL of that. It's not URL PGs. It is not URL Gnome. It's URL Battle Rap Arena. There's a huge difference. It's the reason why it drops on the Battle Rap Arena page and not the URL page. So, um. I, I just want to make that clear. Uh, so, you know, Saga, for niggas coming out to see you and shit, do you want to tell them what they could be prepared for? Like, what style you're most like? Or do you want to just... No, nah, you know what? I think I think it's going to be uh, I think it's gonna be something that's, you know, worth the wait for the Sunday. But for those who don't know me, you know, for those who ain't know what I'm about, I'm not a regular, I'm not a regular battle rapper in the sense of, oh, you know, I don't, I don't do all the same things that they do. I'm not even saying that to be talking or like that, but I'm saying it off the base of, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian rapper, you know what I mean? So I think it's 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 hard to see somebody who's a Christian rapper and do the battle rap thing, you know, at the same time. I know we had a few back in the days in grind time and, and all the other good stuff, but I feel like Christian rappers now, it's, it's a new day and age for them. So I feel like why not, you know, step into this battle rap scene and do what we do. So... If y'all coming to the Battle Rap Arena event on Sunday, March 30th, be prepared for something crazy, man. I promise it's, it's, it's going to be ill, man. You ain't never seen a Christian rapper get down like this. And, uh, yeah, just, just pray for Nada for me. That's what's up. That's what's up. That is different. That is different. What what, what made yeah. you decide? I'm trying to give me something different, man. I, I what, think what Jim you? is a Christian rapper now, actually. So. Yeah, no, that's it. That's my point, man. Jen is, Jen is the homie. You know what I mean? That's, it's actually crazy because he stepped out of battle rap to be a Christian. And I'm, I'm, I've been a Christian my whole life, and I'm stepping into battle rap. So it's like, you know. And, I, was um, say, it's, I, was it's, you, I was about to ask you, what made you decide to step into this format, um, you know, being a Christian MC? Because, you know, like, this is like you know this is a completely different world. Yeah. No, you know what it is, man? Yeah. Like, I've, I've been in the church my whole life. That's, that's a given. But... I, you know, I'm, I grew up on battle rap, you know what I mean? Like, my first battle I ever seen was Lux and Moot. And, uh, you know, then I went on to see Moot versus Party Arty and Sirius Jones versus Moot and, and K-Shine versus Tech 9 and, you know what I mean? So I'm well aware of the movement. I, I grew up with it for years. I even saw the Fight Club drink when they had it on MTV or whatever. That was ridiculous. But, like, you know, I just, I've always been a big fan of the culture and the movement. And, you know, you see left and right, a lot of these dudes been coming out the woodworks, and they're all different. You know what I mean? You got your West Coast rappers. They sounded different from your East Coast rappers. And then all of a sudden, you got the, the Queen of the Ring movement that started popping off. And it, it, it just a lot more room for niggas to do their thing. So, you know, me being a Christian, I figured I'm not going to be one of those people that will preach you down with the Bible or nothing like that. Like, aside from the Christian thing, I got bars. You know what I mean? So... I just decided I wanted to rap for the Lord, so I'm like, you know what? Let me do my thing. Let me re let me represent, and you know, still do this battle thing. You know what I mean? So you're not you're not talking no gun bars or nothing when you get in there. I mean, nah. I mean, you, you you might hear something. You know what I mean? But I'm not even saying like I'm gonna shoot them down. Or, you know what I mean? Because I'm not that type of dude. I ain't never lived that life, and I ain't trying to portray that. But you know, that's that's what these that's what these artists do. You know what I mean? Like they gonna talk that gun talk. And it's cute until you're in a position where you actually got to do what you say. So I ain't about that. But, you know, you, you, you're going to hear a lot from me that night. I don't want to give away too much. But just, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's going to be amazing what I do because I'm, I'm going to stay firm in my belief. I ain't going to step over no boundaries in my belief. But at the same time, I'm going to still bar that man down. And, uh, yeah, if y'all can make it, man, Sunday, March 30th, I think it's 11 a.m. at uh, the Stumble Win. Make sure to make it 11 a.m., 7 p.m. Yep. 11 a.m., 7 p.m., man, make it to Stumble in March 30th. I think they got me second on the card or something like that. But uh, 
Yeah, man, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great event. I'm trying to leave an impact that night. You know what I mean? So make sure to make you, it that battle. You guys are doing the pool table battle, right, or not? I mean, it, it, it is whatever you want to do. We can go back to the whole. Yeah, you know, I'm. I, I said I we're, didn't we're want doing to. A, we're doing we're doing two battles with the tribute to Fight Club. It's mm -hmm. going to be the pool table. There, um, two minutes each. Uh, and put put the pool table in the middle. What do you think about Psycho? We're doing two battles that way. That's what's up. That's what's up. Nice throwback, back look. So I think, um, it's, I think I, it's a dope I, idea. For me personally, I think it's a dope idea for you know show love to the whole you know the dudes who really you know help you know pave the way for the game or whatever. But me personally, you know I'm, I'm the type of dude I want to get in his face. You know what I mean? I'm not coming to play with him. You know what I mean? He's been he's been you know, he's been talking way too much. So when I I don't want the a pool table to get in the way of what I got to say to him. Um, yeah man, uh, I'm ready though, man. What's up, man? Um, all right, yo, thanks for the call. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. The saga is going to be the saga, my bad. Cause it's yeah, man, CH3SAGA, man. Make sure to follow yeah. me on Instagram and Twitter, CH3SAGA, man. And March 30th, it's going to be crazy. there. Make sure to make it to that event, man. going to be there on Sunday, 11, 11 a.m. start time. So make it out. Uh, say, uh, we got another call of cycle before we get an hours on. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Thanks for the call. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, seven, seven, three. You there? Yeah, we good with y'all, man. What's up, man? man? What's up? Oh, man, I had a question for Sean and all, but I guess I'll just... Here, I'll just... I guess I'll just chill listen to the show, that's so. all. Yeah, my bad, man. We lost Sean. <laughs> oh, um, that's all good. I don't know what happened. I thought I, I think he was outside hanging out, you know, so. Yeah, that's all good. I'm just a fan of the show, man. I just listen anyway. I don't really got too much to say. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's No that. doubt. I appreciate that. Uh -huh. that's yeah, so man, I, like, I want to see, I want to see Sean back on that battle rap uh, ring on URL. Like, you know, I feel a lot of these niggas belong on URL, and... I'm not, I'm not, like, you know, support the, shout out to Gracie, baby, and all of them, but I'm not sure how supportive I feel about this idea of battle rappers not bringing their A game to Smack no more. You know, it's kind of like they're treating Smack like a B league, and um, I kind of find it disrespectful. I mean, do you, do you agree, Cycle? I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I don't think people are not bringing their A game when they come into URL. I, I, what it is is I think I, I think the the crowd gives them a different reaction at certain places. Like like we we all had this conversation before, you know. Like URL crowd and King of the Dot crowds like night and day, you know. Like not even just King of the Dot. Like you can talk about don't flop. Like don't flop. Is, is probably more notorious than King of the Dot, because I've actually heard King of the Dot boo people before. I've never heard Don't Flop crowd boo anybody about anything. And, you know, I got, it, it just be a lot of oohs and ahs, and some of the bars are, are good. But some of the bars, I understand the oohs and ahs, and then there'd be certain bars where I was like, okay, I, okay, y'all y'all, y'all easily impressed, because that wasn't that crazy to be going, to be going that crazy. And, you know, that you feel like, it's just, I think I think it got a lot to do with the atmosphere of where these MCs are battling that when they leave URL because we have the toughest crowd. We have the toughest crowd. Like, you have to really be on top of your shit to oppress the, the crowd from beginning to end. You got to really be on top of your shit. It's not an easy task to impress a URL crowd for three straight rounds, especially when you're one of these MCs that, you know, like to spit for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because the crowd will get bored with you, and they will let you know it. And I, I think I think it got a lot more to do with that, more so than the fact that they're not bringing their A game. Because I definitely feel like when they come here, they're definitely trying to do their best because they know the view count is going to be up. They know, you know, the, it, it just it's just a different feel over here. They, they know what it is. So I don't think they're doing it on purpose. 
I think it's just coming across that way. I mean, I don't, I don't think they're doing it on purpose, but I feel like they're oversaturating, oversaturating themselves with the point that they're gonna, they're gonna waste a few hot bars that they could spit, that they could spit on the URL. They're gonna waste a few of them, or maybe a whole round, because like, I mean, these MCs, they're great, but if they bring the E material everywhere, even for what, one round here few bars here, it's going to be spread out where you don't get their best material on the URL. You feel me? Yeah, but that's, that, that, you know, that's going to show over there, too. Like, like some of the like some of this shit that they've been kicking outside of URL ain't been too crazy either. It's just getting a better reaction because of where they're sitting at. But, like, some of the, some, like, I, because I, I've seen a couple of people go, uh, to these other leagues and have an okay performance, nothing too crazy, but you would think it was crazy because the way the crowd was reacting to it. And, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I, it's like, you know, it's kind of like pick your poison. It's pretty much, pretty much got more to do with the crowd than, any, than anything, I believe. Because, like, I think some of these, some of these bars that these dudes got booed over, over here that people wasn't impressed with, if they kicked them somewhere else, people would be going crazy. So, like, and, and, and on footage, it looked like the, the greatest round of all time. Like, so it, it's, it's just, it's, <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it's funny, son. It's all about your preference in crowd. Like, do you, want, do you want your crowd to be, you know, too nice? Or do you want your crowd to be, you know, kind of like this crowd? Like, you know, like, not cutting no, not, you know, not cutting no, not cutting no corners. We gonna keep it a buck. We ain't like that shit, and we gonna let you know about it. Like, it, like pretty much, it's about preference and shit. Cause like, I don't know. I I can understand both sides of the argument. Cause the nice crowd gets on my nerves too. The nice crowd gets on my nerves too. I gotta keep it a buck. Like I don't, I don't like my crowd too nice. I'd rather them not say nothing than it just gives me. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Don't get, don't, I, I don't feel like, yo, I feel the right. same way. When I'm watching the King of the Dot Battle, I'm like, make some fucking noise, boo this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, like when he's choking, let him know. Huh? Yeah. Like, like I, when he's I'm choking, let him know, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, but I'd rather him not say nothing than to be too nice. That's just my, that's just my preference. I don't, I don't want a crowd that's just going to ooh and ah everything. I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'd rather them not say nothing than to do that. That just drives me nuts. I just, then, then I can't respect none of their reactions. Like, okay, they, they, these are fake, phony reactions. It's, not, it's kind of it's, it's gimmicky. It's kind of like TV. You know, because that's how, that's how it is on TV. Motherfuckers like, okay, stop, cut. Okay, we got to do that reaction again. Let's give it let's give it a bigger roar this time. And blah, let's make it look real good and all this other, everything else. Like, it just seems contrived. Like, so I can't take it too serious. So I kind of, that's why I kind of like this crowd, even though a lot of people kill it for booing. But at least I, got, I got a funny, I got a funny story about it. that. Uh, um, Go ahead. No, no, I'll tell you off air. I got a funny story about that. Uh, it, it was well, something like that happened, though. I'm not going <laughs> to love the league or nothing. Why'd you cut me, why'd you cut me off if you weren't going to tell the goddamn story? <laughs> my bad, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> But yeah, that's just how I feel about it, Jeff. That you know, that's what it is. It's all about preference. Like I said, just, I I kind of I kind of rather my crowd keep it a buck. Like I understand, you know, the crowd booing, and you know, the MC got to stop and everything. And some sometimes some MCs it really bothers and everything, that and certain everything. But at least they feelings is pure. At least they real feelings. They not contrived. They not, you know, they not cheering just because somebody told them to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I kind of rather have the real crowd. Um, let's see. Let's go. Uh, seven one seven. You there? You got Norris on line yet, or? You. Yep. I don't see Norris. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's good? Shit, chilling. What's good, y'all? Forty. <laughs> but um, psycho. I definitely agree with you. It's the same, bro. Like I feel like. That, that nice crowd shit can ruin the battle sometimes because, like, you be seeing, like, URL people going 
overseas or whatever to Canada, and they be murdering their opponent. But because the crowd fucks with the opponent's right shit so much, it makes the battle look closer. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes yeah. they don't even be saying shit. They just be getting hyped. Like, I remember when, when Sharon was on, he was saying how, uh, because of the King of Dot, it's like, yeah, I mean, a uh, social event, and they just go there to get drunk and have a good time. Yeah, I feel that, but it's a job, bro. So if you're not coming with your shit, you, you're getting paid. Like, if you're not coming with your shit, they're going to tell you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you're at work and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, they're not going to still cheer for you anyway. They're going to let you know what that shit is. So exactly. I agree with exactly, you. Yeah. I completely, completely agree. Like, if you didn't have your rounds ready and you come up here and you spend some light shit and we cheering, we just condone the fact that you not showing the game respect. So you, I, I completely you know, agree you with you. Know, you know what's the problem that happens with some of that, too? Um, yeah, what's good? Some of these battle rappers could go to other leagues that won't care about something like that and still pay them. Yeah, I feel you. You know? Yeah, I feel you. So now, and, that, like, and that's like that's like what Old Red said again, Big T. Like, how how are you supposed to say you love battle rap but you don't respect it like that? You feel what I'm saying? Supposed to come on. Well, Big T always, to, but oh, Big T always came with three rounds. Big T always. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. No, no, no. I'm not saying that Big T didn't come around. I was saying in that battle, Old Red was saying how how people acting like they supposed to love the game, but they don't respect it by not showing up with everything. I'm not saying Big T. I was just saying. That's what Oren said in that battle, and I agree with him. Like, you're supposed to be, this is your job. Like, this is what you get paid to do. You know what I mean? You're supposed to come with your shit. We're not supposed to sugarcoat it. If you come whack, you're supposed to come with your shit. You know what I mean, you're getting bread. That's how it's supposed to be. But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, that, uh, the, uh, that crown, that crown card is looking crazy, yo. I'm, I'm hyped as shit about uh, that Arsenal Young L battle. Because I fuck with both of them real heavy, so I'm, I'm, I'm hyped, hyped as shit to see that. I think that's gonna be mm -hmm. a good one. And I, I got yeah, big T. I, I got big T winning uh yes, big cannon. Uh earlier cycle you were saying uh, about um Big T having rebuttals. In that hollow battle in the second round he had a rebuttal. It wasn't crazy. I mean I fucked with it where uh how Hollow was like bring the T out of fat or whatever and then he he uh, had the rebuttal yeah. about bringing the hoe out of hollow. And that's the only round I feel yeah. like Big T won that battle because that's the also where he had the hollow uh, the dong gonna be hollow the dong once he had E to it. I fucked with that round. See, that's Big what T. yo. You know what's funny? That's what I mean. Look at that. You get you get Big T the hollow the dog battle. No, 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 no. I said I gave him that round. He that didn't give him that round. He didn't get the. Yeah, I didn't give him that battle. I gave him that round because I fucked with that hollow the dong gonna be hollow the dong once I had E to it, and then like I said, he had that rebuttal going, and he was snapping in that round. So I gave him that shit. I gave him that second round, but he definitely lost the first and the third one. But I was just saying, because Psycho asked about a, um, a rebuttal that, that he had, yeah. and, I, and I, he had that, that rebuttal in that second round. I mean, it wasn't crazy, but it was still a rebuttal, and I mean, I, I thought that shit was nice. Yeah. Good. All right. yeah but, but that's what I'll I'm saying, too, though. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, all right, so he gave him that round, right? A lot of people say Big mm -hmm. T got 3 0 so then, how does the how does Big T come look coming on here saying I got three O? Now he can't even say give that excuse no more. It's all it's all opinionated saying? though. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's all opinionated though. It's because maybe Big T saying he got three O because he felt like he could do better. You feel what I'm saying? I felt like he I just felt like he took the round because yeah, that was my personal thing. I like some of his bars a little bit more than Hollow's in that round. I felt like I mean I definitely think Hollow won the battle. That's clear. But I just like some of his bars that round. I feel like he can't sleep on some of that shit. Even like Hollow on Twitter said that he fucked with some of his bars in that round. So I'm not saying that he won or he clearly won. I'm just saying that I like that round from him. And, and it's just all, like you said, it's just all it's all opinionated. Sometimes some people think, some people won, other times other people think other people won. That's just all it is. I mean, there's some opinion battles. There's some, I, I feel like, fact battles. I think Suicide, I think Big T beat Suicide fact. Um, you think he beat him bad? Oh, I don't think he beat him bad. Fact. I, I no, I said fact. I said fact. Oh, fact. Some fact. Oh. So, like, that's not even opinion name. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how if I agree with that one. I fucked with Surf in that battle. I don't I don't know. That's another one. That's a classic, though. They snap you know, on that shit. Both of them snap. So I wouldn't say that's a fact, but I feel like that's, that, that's, that's no, a good-ass battle. You talking about Surf and BC? You talking about yeah. BC and Surf? I don't. I, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of debatable. I thought the battle was big debatable. Yeah, it's, 
it's, it's definitely debatable. I think that, you know, there's no, because, like, if you look it's on YouTube, YouTube, it's been a minute since I've seen the video, the first two, the top two comments is one person saying one person won, and another person saying the other person won. So how can you call that a fact if the, if, if yeah, the top two comments are saying the other two, you know what I mean? I will say this. I, I did get the battle of Big. I did get the battle of Big T, but I understand it. If I could understand the Surf fan argument, if he wanted to try to mm -hmm. argue and say that Surf won the battle, like because it, it was yeah. a close to one. It was a close to one. Yeah. I don't think it was like decisive. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was yeah, like I like fuck, he. I fuck with both. I felt like I. I personally felt like Surf won, but I'm not gonna be mad at somebody if they said Big T won. I'm not gonna be mad at somebody. If, you know I mean, or if they felt like it was well, wrong. You know, you know what's funny? Day. Like, there's a, there's a few people out there that will tell you Jay Fox be so con. And I'm not saying men. I'm not, I'm not what, saying, like, saying Jay Fox be a soul yeah. con. Well, uh, that's yeah, because that, those I, types I, I don't stop. That battle wasn't debatable. That's not a debatable no, battle. Like, but, I, <laughs> but, I'm saying that, but I'm saying there's a handful <laughs> out of pe people out there that will tell you. But yeah, it's more than a handful that will tell you. But it's more than a handful that I tell you, surf beat Big T. It's more than a handful. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, that, it that, that's like, not a fact. Thing, he didn't even choke yeah. for nothing, and he came with crazy bars. Like, unless you unless you choke and you get destroyed, because there's even people out there who say that K. Shine didn't get three out by Big T, I even though K. Shine just said he lost. I don't know if three O. Motherfuckers did a show right after that battle dropped, and. And and it was a lot of people who said Surf won. Like it, like it was more people that said Big T won. But Surf had his, his share, fair share of people calling in. T, saying that he won, won that battle. battle, man. T won that battle. Come on. Okay. Uh, all right, Jesse, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to him, psycho. Talk to him. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even real quick. I'm not even arguing with you that Big T won a loss. I'm just letting you know that yeah, no. it, it was a debatable battle. It wasn't one. It wasn't like it wasn't. It wasn't murder mook and iron solid. It wasn't that. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, definitely. I feel y'all. I feel y'all. Yo, also real quick, big shout out to uh, to homeboy y'all had on here earlier, the Christian battle rapper. I respect that. Do you think, bro? I respect that shit definitely because. Now yeah, I think you know what's that funny? I booked him. I didn't even know he was a Christian battle rapper. <laughs> he just said yeah, that tonight. Right. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that, that that's yeah. respect, though, because some people, you know what I mean, we all believe in shit, so, I mean, why not take your beliefs with you? I respect that shit 100%. Like, I hope he do his thing, you know what I mean? I hope they both do their thing, because it's y'all's event. I hope that shit go well. I fuck with battle rap arena. But, yeah, I mean, big respect to him for, you know what I mean, putting that out there and letting everybody know what he's coming with. Definitely. Sure. I'm not gonna hold y'all up too long. I just wanted to, uh, you know, I mean, give y'all shout out Battle Rap Arena. I fuck with y'all heavy. Oh, real quick, who did y'all? I, I know I'm late on this, but I probably watched the battle like six times. Who y'all thought won between QP and QP? Um, I had Q, uh, I had Clean winning that one. For real? I, I don't I, know. I had, I had, I had Quantum Leap. I had, I had Quantum. I had Quantum Leap. Um, um, edging it two one. Yeah, definitely. I gave him the first two rounds. That um when he, when he hit that bar about uh about calling Sue Sir saying that he he I mean he stole his name and that ain't just a mother because after all my push and this pussy breaking through yo that shit was crazy bro that bar was crazy I I fuck with I fuck with QP in that battle heavy uh the one from the sun yeah uh, yo, I, 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 I personally had a clean one in. I, oh, yeah, I can't imagine that, because Queen, Queen killed it. I wish he was just throwing about Swayze, he killed it. Now, 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 see, this is a perfect example of what we were just talking about. See, this is a debatable battle. So, you, you mm -hmm. saying Queen, I'm not mad at you saying Queen won. I'm not mad at somebody Hello? saying I'm Quantum Leap won. Like, this is, what we, this is what I'm talking about, Jesse. Like, this is a debatable battle. You know, this battle. is not what we're talking about, because Big T versus because Big T versus Sue Surf is not big, uh, QP versus QP. It's not. QP versus QP is a debatable. Big T versus Surf is not a debatable. Yo, you're in crazy, yo. You're crazy if you think that, like bro. In your opinion, because you don't like Sue Surf and you, lo and you love That's Big T. That's not true. That's not true. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah, very so true. all of a sudden now I'm not a Sue Surf fan. I gave two surfers. Jesse, you're not a two surfer. 
Alright, so, well, when, when, it, when it was Big T versus um, somebody else, you were like, oh, you, you like this other person better. No, I'm just... What are you talking about? What? When, when Big T versus... Don't, when did you ever say Big T was going to lose? Besides maybe against K-Shine. I think maybe against K-Shine, you, 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 you no, might No, no, no. I gave it to Big T, actually. As a matter of fact, you know what? You right. You you even pick Big T in that one. You pick Big T in every battle. You a Big T fan. I'm not mad at you for being a Big T fan. You're a Big T fan, so you got a right. I'm just pointing out the fact that you're a Big T fan. And you're not a Big Sue Surf fan. You're just not. You're just not a big Sue Surf fan. I, the only time I can me- ever remember you going to bat for Sue Surf like that, keeping it a buck, was against Conceited. That's the only time I can remember you going to bat for Sue Surf was against Conceited. You went to bat for Sue Surf in that one. No, I said Surf be Conceited. Yeah, I just, yes, yeah, I just said that. Shout out to y'all. I'm about to get, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. I'm, but I uh, shout out right. to y'all. <laughs> Uh, that, show. Uh, right. The wind broke up. Yeah. All right. So surf first is conceded. Boom. Yeah. There you I go. gave you that. I just gave you that. I just right. gave you that. That's what, but but going into the battle though, you thought you was gonna lose. I now, didn't. You, 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 yes. you did. Yes. You did. After the battle was over, you thought he won it though. After the battle was over, yes. you thought he won. Yes. Now, yes. And, that, and that's what. Yes. Yes. True. I remember that. That, that, uh, so that's, that's the only time. That's the only time I can actually ever remember you saying that he won a uh, um, a battle. Is that one? And I want well, that. That should go. That 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 show you that I changed my opinion. If I see it, you know, you know I'm on by. You know what's funny about that though, Jesse? You're yeah. not a conceited fan either. <laughs> You're not a conceited fan either. So. <laughs> I, I mean, so I am a conceited like, That was kind of like pick your poison on that one. That was kind of like pick your poison for you because you ain't big on either one of them. So it was like, okay, one of these motherfuckers got to win. All uh, right, fucking two surf one. <laughs> nah, that's not true. I'm a, I'm a conceited fan. Um, I mean, I'm both of their fans, you know. I'm a battle rap fan at the end of the day. Um, I know, yeah, you are. You are, but you're not, you're not a fan of either one of them two, though. Let's keep it a stack. Uh, you, you, Who's like, my favorites? <laughs> yeah, right. Big T is up there. Yeah, um, of course. I mean, they, I don't know, the man. Like, two are on the bottom, I, and them two are on the bottom. They on the bottom. Ice is up there. Keep like, that. ice is in my top five, though. I don't know, man. No, it's hard. I ain't talking about your top. I'm talking about your bottom. <laughs> I know who's at your top. I didn't even top five off top of my head, like nothing. Who's my top? Who's my top five? You say my top five. Let me your, top five, your top five is Rex, yeah. Big T, Real Deal, um, Lux, and uh, probably probably Ice. All right, that's not bad. All right. <laughs> that, that might be right. Yeah, you might be right on that. I have to think about that, but you might be right. Yeah, exactly. That's a good, that's a good guess, though. <laughs> Let's go... Uh, Four four three, you there? Yeah, what's good? What's good, son? Yo, I, I, 